Hi, today's word with Uncle Tim is false witness. False witness is when you make false statements about someone or a situation. So I'm going to tell you a little story that happened to me years ago. So I grew up in the country, went to in rural Montana, went to a very small country school. It was so small that we had fourth, fifth, and sixth grades combined into one class with one teacher. So it happened somewhere along the way that one of the boys decided it would be a good idea to put trash and pencils and different items in the urinal in the boys' bathroom. Well, the teacher scolded the boys and told them, hey, you guys need to cut that out. But it continued to happen until one day at recess time, the teacher dismissed all the girls and kept all the boys in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, kept us all in and said, okay, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're all just going to sit here in this room until somebody confesses as to who's been doing this. Well, we sat there and sat there. Nobody was going to confess. I mean, who, what fourth, fifth, or sixth grade boy is going to come forward in front of everyone and say, yep, it's been me doing this, and you're the, and the, I'm the reason we're all stuck in here missing recess. Anyhow, this went on for, I, I don't know, it seemed like hours, but I, it probably wasn't anywhere near that long. But along the way, another boy and I got together and decided we were going to put an end to this situation. We were, we were done. I was in the fourth grade. This boy was in the fourth grade as well, so... Two fourth graders were nine, ten years old. Anyhow, we got together and decided uh, we need to do something about this so we can go to recess and play. So we decided both to pin it on one of the other boys in the class. So I don't remember how exactly it went, but I do know that both of us, or one of us said it was so-and-so, and the other boy said, yep, I agree, I saw so-and-so do it. Well... We had no idea who had been doing it. It might have been that boy, but most likely it wasn't. It could have even been the other boy that conspired with me. Anyhow, neither one of us knew who it was, but we went ahead and pinned it on that boy. And he got in trouble. I don't remember what his punishment was, but he got in trouble for something he most likely didn't do. And we all got to go to recess. Anyhow, that incident has been stuck in my mind my whole life. It keeps coming back <clears throat> to me. I don't think about it every day, but it does come to mind every so often. And the thing that really gets me is that boy later on in life, as he got older, he that we pinned it on, he got himself into trouble when he was in junior high, and then later on, some more trouble. And eventually, when he grew up to be a man, he ended up murdering his own mother. He walked in, asked her for some money. She didn't want to give him money, so he shot her and killed her. And he went away to prison. Now, I don't know if that incident in the fourth grade had anything to do with contributing to that, but it very well could have contributed to his choices that he made later on in life because of what myself and that other boy did in the classroom that day. So just think about that next time you go to open your mouth and speak something that you know to be false. Or even if you're not sure whether it's true or not, if you don't, if you don't know that it's 100% true, you should just keep your mouth closed and not say anything. And definitely, if you know it to be false, don't say anything because what you speak could have ramifications for the rest of that person's life. You have no idea how that's going to affect them and what it's going to do to them. So, remember that. Don't bear false witness. Mm -hmm.